I hate TikTok, but my buddy Guy loves TikTok. And he sent me this TikTok video, which is going around super viral. It's about how to aerate wine using a milk frother. So this is an electric milk frother. I bought it on Amazon just for this challenge, just for you. We've got the peanut gallery on standby. We're going to review this whole situation. Wine by the Bay TV. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Wine by the Bay TV. I am your host, George Bachara. As I mentioned in the open, we are doing a TikTok challenge. We've got the peanut gallery, Megan. Come say hi, Megan. Hi, everybody. All right, so Megan's going to help me kind of do this experiment on TikTok. My buddy, Guy Balaji, uh, sent me this TikTok video, which I would have never seen because I am not on TikTok. I'm afraid of the Chinese people taking my information. Whether that's true or not is neither here nor there. The point of the matter is I'm scared, okay? I don't admit that very often, but in this particular instance, I'm scared. My buddy Guy is not scared. He loves TikTok, and he saw this viral video about using a milk frother to open up the wine and kind of pseudo decant it in the glass without having to use a big decanting kind of things. All right, now I've seen crazy stuff on the internet, uh, but taking a milk frother and frothing your wine before you drink it. So Megan's gonna help me out. Megan, tell us about this uh, wine, this um, milk frother here. Okay, so this is a milk frother by Peach Street and it's battery operated. So I put two AA batteries in there before that you guys didn't see, I spared you of that. This is easy to wash. You just kind of wash, uh, it says, you know, underwater and it's high powered motor stainless steel and it has a nice little stand which my husband doesn't appreciate but i do yeah because this is going right in the drawer i'm not displaying a, a seven dollar and ninety cent seven dollars folks this yeah. was a steal this is a huge investment by the way guys i mean for me to spend 7.90 on a milk frother is just out of control now we have a 700 dollars espresso machine that makes frothed milk that was no problem to spend the money on but this $7 item really burns me. Okay. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. The boxing was very simple. It kind of came out just like you're seeing it, so. Yeah, it was pretty easy to get out of the box, and that's saying something considering I'm a big gorilla, so it doesn't matter. True that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour wine into, into the glass and then aerate one and not aerate the other. I just opened this wine literally five minutes ago. This is uh, the Chianti Classico 2019 from Alma. Okay, Casa de, uh, Castello de Alma. I got this from Igor for sub $20. I don't remember exactly how much it is, but I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go look at that. And that's from Vinus Reverie. That's what you said. You think $17.99? I, I feel like that's what you said. Okay, well, anyway, there'll be a link in the description box uh, to get to Vinus Reverie where I bought this wine, sub $20 for sure, which is, yep. I mean, for a 2019 VOCG County Classico. You're you doing three okay. Of them. <laughs> I, I did. I bought three. Of them. I opened it with this thing right here, which really. If you think I hate that, I really hate this. This is an electric uh, cork opener. Mm -hmm. uh, as a wine professional and as a service professional, this really hurts my feelings. More I than the it. foil opener hurt your feelings? No, the foil opener hurts my feelings more. So anyway, if you want to see, uh, we did an unboxing and a little bit of a, like a how-to video on this one. I'll leave a link right up here or up here, wherever the heck it winds up. I, Two years, I still haven't figured out which side of the screen it comes up on. So you know who you're dealing with. Points of both. Follow that link and you'll see how uh, how this thing performed. And I love that thing, by the way. This was a Megan purchase. Yes. This was not a George purchase. Definitely never a George purchase. In fact, it's so less of a George purchase. I'm going to put it all the way over here behind the candlestick. Okay. All right, so we're just going to pour uh, some wine into these glasses. And then we're going to aerate one, not aerate the other, and give it a taste. Now these are the big wine glasses, everybody. From the big wine glass company. And we love them. This was a George. Oh no, they sent us these, right? I, well, they sent us them and I bought a set too. And then, yeah, it was just a nightmare. Anyway. But I love them. Yeah. So I thought they were gonna be really big and like ridiculous, but I actually now tell George to bring them out at all times. Yeah, she, I wasn't gonna use these glasses so you could see the uh the use case well yeah because we're having steak tonight and i was like we're getting out the big glasses all right so i feel like we should do this against the white backdrop Ooh, okay, okay. so that you can see what's going to happen here so i'm going to only aerate one of these so i guess this one is the non Yeah, because you're supposed to taste them side by yes, side yes exactly aerated and that 
This is why he can't have stands. That's correct. And that is 100%. See, I told you. That was not scripted. That is just what happens in this house all the time. Regularly. All the time. So this has a little a little button on the top which activates the milk frother. Yep. But it's not like you have to turn it on and turn it off. When you release the button, it stops working. So press it and it runs, pick it up and it stops running. Simple. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. And again, I'll leave a link to the TikTok video um, that Guy sent me. Yeah. So that you guys can reference it and see that I didn't just make this up out of whole cloth. <laughs> Weirdly, that just looks so strange to me. It looks terrifying. Doesn't it? Okay, but if you've ever aerated wine, especially with our uh, our Corbin, it makes a little bit of a froth thing like that, but much, much less. Yeah, like this looks like a bubble bath. Yeah, I mean, if you can see it, it's now it's starting to dissipate. Super frothy. And what did I? What did I do? Like ten? Yeah, not, not even ten not seconds. Not much. Yeah. Smell test like. Well, first of all, this is very aromatic and this one is tight. tight. Yeah. So, yes. let's see. All right, so that one you're just doing the old fashioned twirly yep. twirl. Good, but super acidic. Mm. A little bit more spicy than you'd really want it. Okay. But it just came out of the bottle. So, I mean, there's a little under undertone of like no chocolate and possibly like a hazelnut kind of thing going on. And then of course the bright cherry flavors, which you'd expect in the Chianti. All right. I'm still tasting this wine. So I'm gonna give this a minute. We'll cut this or I'll speed it up or whatever. So you guys don't have to watch me wait for this wine to dissipate. Yeah, a little more funky. Um, definitely getting some of the wood component. A little um, like iron or cop like iron which is which is typical in a Chianti actually so yeah all the sharp edges are gone on this the high acidity the slight um the tartness yeah there's a tartness. That, yeah there's an edge to that wine yeah. that mm -hmm. tells you it just opened five minutes ago right this one everything is a lot more integrated once you use the frother so i have to say if you wow. don't, yeah, exactly. There is a difference. There's a difference for sure. So if you don't have a Corvin or an aerating system or whatever, yeah, don't this is mind. a, this is $7 guys, $8 on Amazon. I mean, wow. it really does plus the two batteries. Up. So call it a $9 purchase. So for $9, you can aerate your wine as long as you're not fancy. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you also don't want to use super small glasses because then it'll splash all over the place. You don't have to use these giant ones. The link that I'm gonna leave in the description box, the other TikTok video. I mean, he's using a regular size glass, like a 20 ounce glass. It's not that big of a deal. But I think it made a difference. I mean, don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. All right. Um, I think it's worth the $7. This is gonna be a short one, guys. So TikTok is short. This is gonna be a short episode in the spirit of TikTok. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Hats out, shirts are out. Um, I'm going to start uh, selling these hats and the shirts, so watch out for that coming up maybe in this episode. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm definitely going to leave links uh, to the Big Wine Glass Company, so you can give me one of those back. Okay. Please. <laughs> to the Big Wine Glass Company, so you can get yourself a set of these bad boys. These are awesome. I think these are $49, but whatever they are, they give you, if you use my discount code yeah. uh, that I'll leave in the description box, you get 10% off. And sometimes they run sales that are even better than that. So absolutely check these out. This makes you feel really good, especially when you're drinking white wine. Mm -hmm. These glasses are killer because you don't feel as uh, bad about your life oh, drinking these. Yeah. All right, so again, George, Wine by the Bay TV. Watch the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you again next time.